It's the current hottest question of 2023. What is going on with rogue waves? People wonder, can a rogue wave really capsize a ship like we saw in the movie Poseidon? Very, very underrated film back in 2006. The entire cruise ship completely capsizing and about 99% of the people unfortunately dying. Could that happen in real life? The answer is yes, but it would have to be a perfect scenario similar to the Titanic disaster that happened back in 1912. A lot of people, you know, what is a rogue wave? There's really some split science on how a rogue wave gets created and formed, but they've been known to be as tall as right around 90 feet. Very, very impressive height with the tallest ones forming off the coast of South Africa. You can take a look at the main tourist cruise ship lanes. Not many cruise ships down in South Africa, but yes, rogue waves are no joke. They're completely unpredictable. The Poseidon movie, while it's not really based off of a true story, something like that in a perfect scenario could theoretically happen. And of course, in that movie, they immediately order the ship to be turned right into the wave. That is correct. The ship unfortunately wasn't able to be turned fast enough, almost reminiscing of Titanic, and it would be a perfect situation to where the wave would have to be extremely tall to have enough force behind it in the form of water to truly come over the side of the ship, waterlog it, and completely capsize it. And if it did capsize, I think the best way of surviving something like that actually is if you were on the deck and as the wave the rogue wave was hitting the ship, you somehow were able to maybe jump off the side or jump into the wave. Might be the best chance of survival. If the ship got capsized, just like in the movie, it would create a giant air bubble and eventually it would all flood and it would basically trap everyone in the real world. I'm not sure how possible it would be to escape through the bottom of the ship you know, in that situation, you are I'll be honest, you're pretty much screwed at that point. There's been a lot of people that I've seen that do, did think the Costa Concordia, probably one of the most known, if not the most famous modern cruise ship disaster. A lot of people think it hit a rogue wave. Uh, no, it did not. It was actually very close to the shoreline. It ran up on some rocks and it was grounded. And then it partially capsized. I think around 30 people died and I was reading something about the captain leaving the ship or something early. That's what caused the ship to run onto some rocks. But either way, guys, getting back to rogue waves. Yes, they are real. Yes, they're no joke. If something like that happened to where, I mean, you've got these massive cruise ships now. It is very hard to capsize them. You do need extreme force. You would need a massive wave. Could you imagine a wave the size of Interstellar? I don't know how big that interstellar wave is, but uh, yeah, that would destroy a cruise ship for sure. But rogue waves are real. If you look back at the 1912 Titanic disaster, people think, oh, the Titanic, it's a weak ship because it sank right away. No, it's actually very, very strong. It's actually a lot stronger than modern cruise ships. It is the way it was built. It just got an unfortunate situation where everything was perfect. It was late at night. There was no reflection of the iceberg. It was completely clear. You couldn't gauge it. And by the time they saw the iceberg, you know, they were thinking it was a tight turn. They could get around it. And it ends up swiping the side of the ship, unfortunately. And it was kind of the perfect one in a million type chance. That's exactly what would have to happen for a rogue wave. We get a lot of these cruise ships going out. I think what's more likely to happen is a rogue wave could hit the side of a cruise ship but not capsize it. Maybe there would be a few casualties and it would make national news, but it wouldn't completely capsize the ship. The catastrophic situation is the Poseidon thing where the ship gets completely capsized, effectively trapping everyone in the inside in a giant air bubble. But there's no way, there's no exit. The only really other thing I could say is maybe you could try and swim out the bottom of it. But even that, that's like a minefield because you're dealing with electricity and things like that. That would be a mess. Uh, it, it's like a one in a million chance of survival at that point. I really don't know what I would do. I might try and swimming out the bottom or something, but 
ideally your best chance is to maybe you're on top of the the ship you're in a pool something like that and you immediately bail well I'm not even sure you could bail off the side because you would just get, the ship would just crush you you might have to just stay in the pool and as the ship is getting capsized you just go into the water and swim away from it it would have to be something like that. It's a very hard situation. I don't know if a ship is ever going to get capsized by a rogue wave, but in my research, which was very extensive, uh, I know that rogue waves are real and they can get to be extremely high, higher than tsunamis, to the point where even these huge ships they got, they got a new cruise ship in 2024, what is it, the Oasis of the Seas? It's the new biggest cruise ship. It's barely, it, they all look the exact same, of course. These things, they're just ridiculous. I mean, I've got nothing against cruise ships. I'm not hoping for, for this to happen. I'm just saying it could happen if the stars align and it would be a one in a million thing and it would be a catastrophic situation for the cruise ship industry, which was already partially destroyed by the pandemic. They're trying to recover. Could you imagine something like this happening? It would not be good because you'd get mass hysteria. You'd get people saying that's going to happen to me when in reality, listen, it's a one in a million situation. Even if it does happen, we still have yet to see a giant cruise ship actually sink the Costa Concordia, the closest to that, it was partially capsized and then they completely scrapped it. In what was a huge scrapping event, uh, the ship did not sink. They brought it back up. Its entire side was completely discolored from the water, you know, contact it had. But either way, that's just kind of my take on rogue waves and could something like that happen? Yes, it could. Uh, lower chances based on where you're at, mainly off the coast of South Africa. That is the problem area when it comes to rogue waves. But really, you're talking about like a 1% chance versus a 0.5% chance. It's very, the, the rogue waves could come up any everywhere and there still is a lot of dispute on the science behind how a rogue unexpected wave forms in the ocean. It's mainly based off of currents and tides and things like that coming together. Maybe also earthquakes from under it, but... That's kind of what creates tsunamis. So either way, that's just my take on rogue waves, unpredictable waves. If, you know, you're on a cruise ship and you see one of these things, the first thing you want to do is you make sure you film it because it, it, it's, it's, it's huge. And then I would say possibly try and go into the pool area on top of the ship and just hope that it doesn't... Well, I mean, honestly, you'd probably want to take cover because maybe the captain can turn the ship into the wave... At that point, you'd cut right through the wave, especially a big cruise ship. You don't want to be hit from the side. That's the issue. If you get hit from the side, the ship will turn over. Uh, and, and that's why the captain would say, turn the ship directly into the wave. And, and you could cut right through it. The front of the ship could cut through the wave. Uh, but if you do get hit from the side, it is a major problem. So so uh, that is the situation surrounding the giant rogue waves. We'll have to see if anything happens with them. Again, it's probably one in a million. It's probably not going to happen, but I did want to talk about it. Either way, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.